Hello and welcome to Geek Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll look on another option with Material Editor when we're using images. We, in Materials, we can create procedural materials that we draw by the function and math calculations, but sometimes you want to use the image for um, example as texture wall or maybe some other effect which cannot be achieved by procedural. The both of them have its benefits and also some withdraw, but we'll look right now how we can create by using some materials, create something interesting from this box. So right here, I have it um, material open for the cube. Next, what I'm going to switch to the map picture. Okay, and I'm going to load one. And right here, the images actually I created in a filter forge. So we can go use it. On what I'm going to do is use it top one. So that you can see it's applied properly. And I want to be sure it's set to object parametric. So it's set on all sides repeating. Next, I want to add pump map. And for this, I'm just creating project texture, projected texture map. So we'll go open. And I'll just select bump map for this and connecting. You don't necessarily can want uh, can use bump map if you don't have it. You can use just connect this to your color if you want it. But if you have it, it's kind of very really nice and helpful. So it's great, a little bit nice effect. Uh, we can also, if you want to add a little bit highlights to create a little bit more shiny look or better kind of look, I'll just create general. So this is just I created the box. What if I want to modify? For example, if I want to go ahead and add something more to the sides, not just a one simple color. Right now it's kind of repeating. So what I want to do, I want to go here, create new layer. Okay. So we'll create a blank layer. I'll be show my environment set. Enable map at picture. And I'm going to preload, for example, side. Okay, we'll go set zero. You notice it's applied to everyone exactly. So I'm going to switch object parametric. Okay, and it's kind of overlay what I have. It, but I don't want, for example, putting this on top. I want to put it just on the sides. So I'm going to just click once. Okay, this is one repeated. Next, um, okay, I don't want to display this, for example, on top. So I'm going to environment, and environment, I'm just cutting off the top one part. Let's click OK. If we take our main camera and look from top, let's re enter. You can see we remove this top one and have it side. So by using environmental, we can also, same way, we can modify and add with the environment the other one. So for example, okay, actually, let's delete this one. We'll go preload it, and I'm preloaded door. Okay, we'll go to bump map, image, and preloaded bump map for the door. Okay, and for example, for this one, I want to select to one. The one thing I want to be sure, it's always set to object parametric. So it's kind of will apply to that. Okay, let me check my right here, probably two, same like right here, two. And I notice right here, bump map not connected. So I'm going to connect as well. Okay, so on the door example, it's all places. By environment, for example, I want only restraint to specific orientation. So we'll just set like this. Okay. And we can go to 90 degrees. So 
right here. If you preview, we don't have it on this side. And we have a door on this side. Of course, because it's based by the object. If we rotate, you can see the door reside to one side only based on the object. So in this case, with all these layers and images, I can constrain them to specific areas. So top and other one bottom. There also, you can modify a little bit more now with the additional options. Okay, like example, put it maybe some logo right here on the side. So I'm going to create new layer. Okay, switch this to the mapped picture. Go preload it and one, I'm selecting just the logo PNG. Yes, I want transparency applied. You can see it's applied everywhere. So I want this one once, I don't want to repeat it. Okay, as well, we can modify by environment example. We can say um, load 90 degrees. Okay, so it's displayed. Okay, and we'll go to the object parametric. So right here we have our logo. Um, if we we can also go and says okay, just in case, not don't display this on top of the bottom of the flat object. But you notice it's kind of too big. So to do this, we'll go to edit function, and you can do this from not edit function, but sometimes um, if you have just one layer, you can do from layer. But also if you do from function, you can click and work on this placement so you can take your um, editor this is kind of nice because I can reduce the size so that five make it smaller maybe I want to bring it above so I'll go to set offset maybe too high like around right here let's make smaller right about that place again pop up a little bit higher so and I just place it logo okay click OK you can see how I was manipulating with this we'll click OK again and let's render and right here you can see from the simple cube I created with placement materials top side our windows just one door and we took this logo and just placed in one place so you have much um, interesting kind of manipulations Again, let's take our main camera bring a little bit closer so we can see more details okay we'll go to atmosphere editor let's enable radiosity so we have a nice lighting going around and I'm going to also enable and we we'll go render okay and right here again you can see how with the texture manipulating we have to very nicely applied a different texture to the different sides as well uh, separately logo placement just on specific place where we want it again couple of tricks when you do with object be sure it's object parametric enabled it's make much easier or at least object standard and also with the environment control, you can specify which uh, place you want to play, uh, place it in specifically terrains or uh, textures. It can be a little bit complicated if your um, objects have a little bit different shape. On that case, you preferably won't work with UV maps. But again, this is just example how to apply image-based texture to your objects. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please remember this test on the web is www.geekatplay.com.